Hello, I'm Jesse Hunt, graduate student here at the University of Missouri. Today I will be talking about one of my graduate projects, the comparison of UAV and airplane in corn fungicide applications. Many growers want to understand how UAV could be integrated into their operation and how this technology compares to existing application methods. Plane and helicopter applications already typically use ultra-low and very low carrier volumes such as 2 and 3 GPA. This allows UAV applications, which are commonly applied at the same carrier volumes, along with the rising availability of UAV to hold potential as a new application method for growers. Some goals of this project were to understand differences in application coverage, disease severity, lodging, and yield after fungicide applications from both an airplane and an industry standard UAV in a large plot setting. Three locations were used across the state of Missouri in the 2024 growing season. Former cooperators in Mound City, Truxton, and Green Ridge allowed us to apply treatments on fields that were scheduled to receive a fungicide application from a plane via local aerial applicator service. Each location used a different plane, pilot, fungicide product, and rate. However, both UAV treatments and plane treatments used the same product and rate at each location. A DJI Agris T40 UAV, like you can see here, was used to apply fungicides at 2 and 4 GPA. Three treatments were applied on each field at either R1 or R3, depending on grower preference, and treatments consisted of 2 GPA and 4 GPA from the UAV, and 2 or 3 GPA from an airplane. Water-sensitive spray cards were placed within each plot on three plants, on the top side of two leaves above the ear leaf, the ear leaf, and two leaves below the ear leaf. Disease severity ratings were taken at application, R3, and R6 growth stage. Yield was collected by cooperators, and yield maps were generated for each plot. Looking at some of the results, first the average plus two card location. At the Mound City location, we found four GPA treatments had significantly higher coverage when compared to plain or two GPA treatments. At the Green Ridge location, we found both UAV treatments had significantly higher card coverage when compared to plain treatments. Next, looking at disease severity for tar spot at the Truxton location, both 2 GPA and 4 GPA treatments had significantly less tar spot than when compared to plain treatments. At the Mound City location, 2 GPA treatments had significantly less tar spot when compared to plain and 4 GPA treatments and there were no significant differences at the Green Ridge location. Next, looking at gray leaf spot, there were no significant differences found for gray leaf spot at both the Truxton and Mound City location. At the Green Ridge location, two GPA and four GPA treatments had significantly less gray leaf spot severity when compared to plain treatments. For common rust at the Mound City location, two GPA treatments had significantly less severity when compared to plain and four GPA treatments. However, at the Green Ridge location, there were no significant differences across all treatments. Next, looking at yield. When comparing yield at the Mound City and Truxton locations, plane treatments were significantly lower when compared to both 2 and 4 GPA UAV treatments. However, at the Green Ridge location, there were no significant differences across all treatments. Some conclusions we have found so far. Plane applications resulted in less coverage than 4 GPA UAV treatments. UAV applications resulted in either equal or lower disease severity at R6 across all locations and diseases. There were no differences in lodging across all treatments and locations, and UAV application resulted in equal or higher yields across all locations. Overall, UAV have the potential to provide similar or better spray coverage disease suppression, and yield when compared to aircraft applications based off 2024 data. This experiment will be repeated in the 2025 growing season, and I look forward to sharing future results with you. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Mandy Bish, all the former cooperators, MU Extension personnel, and the MU Weed Science team for helping to make this possible. Make sure to check out our YouTube, University of Missouri Weed Science, and MU Extension IPM.